Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M, and today I'm going to help you choose a new hairstyle based on your face shape. And this video is going to be broken up into two separate sections. Section number one, I'm going over the textbook how-to of face shape hairstyle selection. And in the second part, I'm going to tell you what this expert says. I'm going to break it down, keep it simple, to make sure that you actually know how to pick a new hairstyle for you. So last week, we discussed how to choose the proper eyeglasses based on face shape. And really, once you understand it, it comes down to balance and contrast. And if you missed that video, I would probably start there. There's a link below this video in the description that'll take you there. And then come back to this video once you have identified what face shape you actually have. But unlike eyeglasses, Hairstyles and face shape is totally a more complex idea, concept, and principle in general. You've got a whole lot of other things that you've got to take into account as opposed to just your face shape, right? With glasses, it's simple. There are only like four or five different shapes. Hairstyles? Are you kidding me? There's probably a billion of those bad boys. And just like glasses, multiple hairstyles are going to work for multiple face shapes. Alright, step number one, identify your face shape. And remember, there are four different options and you are one of them. And you are either oval, square, round, or triangle. And I know that you're going to find other shapes in books, but really when you break it down, there are four. And just like with glasses, choosing a hairstyle based on your face shape is all about balance and contrast. If you have a round face, go for hairstyles that offer dimension. Look for hairstyles that are more angular. In Alpha M terms, what that basically means is if you've got a round face, you want to stay away from big, rounded hairstyles, alright? You want to get something that's a little bit more angular, probably tighter on the sides and the back. This is not the best hairstyle for this gentleman. He is a round face and needs a hairstyle a bit more angular to offset the roundness. By choosing a hairstyle that is a bit more angular, this is actually going to contrast and complement his round face. If you have an oval face shape, then you're pretty lucky because most hairstyles actually complement this face shape. There is an exception, however. I would probably avoid heavy bangs if you have an oval shaped face. Now this gentleman has an oval shaped face, but it actually looks a little bit heavier and rounder because cause of the heavy bangs covering half of his forehead. And if your face is square, due to the angular nature and construction of that face, you want to go with a hairstyle that actually softens those hard lines. Here's a great example of what not to do. This gentleman has a fairly square face. Combine that with a tight, angular hairstyle, he looks like Herman Munster. Triangle face shape are pretty lucky also. You can get away with most styles and you actually look great with some longer options. To emphasize this face shape hairstyle point, I've got two guys with very similar hair texture but very different face shapes. See who looks better. Here it is, two guys, very similar hair texture, but very different facial structure. The guy on the left looks great with big flowing locks of lusciousness. The guy on the right needs a definite tighter style to offset the roundness of his face. So is it making sense? I hope it does, because it's really not that complicated when you think about it, all right? Identify your face shape, and then choose a hairstyle that actually complements your face shape. And by complement, we mean contrast. So if you're real round, stay away from rounded styles. If you're real structured, stay away from real structured style. Alright, now that is technically the proper way to choose a hairstyle based on face shape. Cool, right? Well, if you go and actually try to find a new hairstyle, you're going to be looking at hairstyles, you're going to be looking at face, you're not going to know what the heck is going on. And so now, I thought that I'd actually give you some pointers and tips on how to choose a great hairstyle with, and it had nothing to do with face shape. There are some other factors that you do, however, need to consider. So I have worked with thousands of guys and helped them pick out new hairstyles. And the way that it works, they'll send me a picture, I look at the picture, and what do I look at first? Their face shape? Hell no! I look at their hair texture. Wavy, curly, straight, thin, thick, balding, whatever. And then I look at their hairline. Is it receding in the front? Maybe on the sides? Do they have a widow's peak? Is it squared off? Those two factors, their hair texture and their hairline, are the two biggest things in determining what hairstyle is going to suit them. So what I would recommend you do if you're looking for a new hairstyle is actually think or look or keep your eye out for a celebrity that has a very similar hair texture and hairline to yourself. Once you've identified that celebrity or that person, what you need to do is let Google do the work. Go to Google Images and do a search for that celebrity. What you're going to find is hundreds of images of that celebrity with similar hair 
hair to you. And celebrities are always changing their hairstyle due to different roles or them getting bored or mad at their parents or whatever. And here's something very important that you need to remember. It's not necessarily about the haircut. It's about how that person and how you style that haircut. Because truth be told, most haircuts are virtually the same. It's all about the length, it's all about the product that you're using, and it's all about how you style your hair. Here's something fun that you can try next time you're thinking about trying your hairstyle. Go out and find three different styles that you actually like, but I want them to be three different lengths. And I want you to try the longest style first. All right, so if I wanted to go out and choose three new hairstyles, I would probably start with the one on the left because it's the longest, all right? Then if I wasn't crazy about it, I could always go to the middle option. Try that out, and if I'm not crazy about that, I can always either keep that hair growing to go back or cut it shorter to the shortest option. Print out the picture, bring it to your stylist. Also, bring the hairstyling product that you use. And before you leave that salon, make sure that that stylist teaches you and shows you how to style your new style. It's so funny, as men, we resist change. We also adopt a hairstyle and like to stick with it. And just like clothes and trends, hairstyle trends change as well. It's probably time, if you haven't changed your hairstyle in a while, for you to go out and find something that you love. And the last thing to keep in mind when choosing a new hairstyle is be realistic about your hair, all right? If you've got pencil straight hair, you're not going to get some crazy body wave do, all right? It's not gonna work. You're going to be frustrated. It's just not going to happen. Gentlemen, hairstyles. Is it time to change yours? If so, I hope this helped you find a new one. And the great news is that if you try a hairstyle and you don't love it, wait a few weeks, wait a month, it'll grow out and you can try something else. So in honor of this video and the fact that I've finally gotten my ass on Twitter, I'm actually going to be giving away some free Pete and Pedro products. This contest is totally random, all right? You don't have to do any videos. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter and tweet me at I am Alpha M, your favorite I am Alpha M video. That's it. And then once a month, I'm actually going to pick five people to win Pete and Pedro products. First prize, the grand prize, is going to win an entire collection of Pete and Pedro. A prize package worth $130. That's all five styling products and the shampoo and conditioner to one lucky winner. I'm also going to select four other random people just to give away a jar of their favorite or whatever product they would like to try. So to enter to be in the running, all you got to do is click that link below, follow me on Twitter, tweet me at IamAlphaM, and what I want you to tweet me is go to IamAlphaM.com, find your favorite video, and tweet that to me. And the reason I want you to tweet me your favorite video is because that is actually going to help steer what videos I do in the future. I want to know what you guys actually like. And that's pretty much it. Gentlemen, there's a link below. There's also a description of what you need to do in the description in order to be eligible to win. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.